Hello, my classics! It's Alana again. I am sorry that I missed Monday, but Sunday I was out really late and I just wasn't feeling up to putting out a video and the video that I had made for it, I just, it wasn't up to snuff. I didn't want to put you guys through that. I'm still working on it. It's the reversed makeup challenge. I'm just going to tell you right now. It's coming, but I keep messing it up pretty bad. Like, I keep forgetting steps and then having to put them in after when they supposed to be. I'm writing it down. I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do something a little different than other people do. Welcome back, but if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make that bell ring loud and proud so you know when I post, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon central time. Today's video is going to be the red makeup challenge. And I'm actually really excited. I did the green makeup challenge before. This one wasn't originally a makeup challenge. This was for Nikki Tutorials because her brother had passed away and his favorite color was red. Well, I'm turning it into a bit of a challenge because I seem to really like to go extreme with it. I have a bunch of red makeup. I love the color red. This could be interesting how extreme I can make this because that's kind of where I've been going with these. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my usual Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist, which I got at Target for like 15 bucks. It was kind of pricey, but it smells so good. It looks like it would have a milky, kind of like a buttery milky scent, but it really has a very floral scent. Initially, that can be a little bit overpowering. I missed a whole spot on my face. But then once you get past the overpowering part, it settles down and mellows into a really nice floral scent. You know, I talk about this stuff like all the time, every time in every video. I'm gonna try to put my foundation on in a different way. Also gonna be smart and grab my mirror because that would be good. Of course, having a mirror covered in fingerprints doesn't really do much good either. I need to get a kabuki brush. Next, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. It's in the color light. Then I'm grabbing my Maybelline Instant Rewind to get at some of these blemishes. Because not everybody can have perfect skin all the time. My kids are having an evening snack, so. Now I'm going to set my under eye. Now, we're going to get started. I'm grabbing my Makeup Revolution palette and going into the red. Yeah, though, before I do, I have to clean this mirror. I'll be right back. Alright, I cleaned my mirror off because that's what I need. I like your, your red eyebrows. Thank you. Now I'm going into my Morphe palette. This is the Color Burst palette, 35B. Kind of like the holy grail of palettes and I paid online 30 bucks for it. So I'm going to be heading into these colors, some of the more ready tones. But first I have to prime. I keep forgetting that part. <laughs> I don't have any eye problem. <clears throat> so we're just going to dive in. I'm going to go in with this color here into the crease. I like your palettes. This one for my Amazon too. <laughs> no, it's not from Amazon. See, for me, I've got this droopy lid thing. It's like a thing. They've got a name for it, but I don't know. So I always have to compensate for it with color. So like when I see it, I just go over it a little bit. And I'm going in with the one just below it, the bright red. It's kind of a more of an orangey red, too, if you think about it. I'm going in with this burgundy. Kind of deep in. The outer corner right here. My lighting is terrible right now because the sun's going down. And I think I'm going to go with this one on a slightly dampened brush to get a luster on the lids. And grab my setting spray. I'm trying to do like a fade and I'm, I'm succeeding like an ombre, like by brushing it more on, rubbing it, I'm getting more ombre. Just like that, I'm getting a much more ombre color. And then I'm just going to grab that same color with my fingertip to uh, smudge that into the corner. And I'm going to grab a small brush and that burgundy color that I grabbed at the very end there, or that I smudged into the uh, edge. And I'm going to uh, go right along my lash line, but I'm going to fan it out to where it ended. Because it ended below my eye, 
on each side. And then I'm going to blend a little bit of the bright red into the outer edge of that. Just a little bit to kind of create that nice eye look. So far it looks a little crazy. By the way, thank you for the like amazing feedback everybody on the um face mask video that was actually more fun than anything that i thought it would be it hurt but it was fun i need to redo my roots mm. now i'm going to do a nice winged eyeliner and i think i'm going to go a wee bit dramatic and take the winged eyeliner just past where i've got one moment while i look really closely and now this cracker on my lip from kisses this is so far kind of crazy looking. Actually, it's still really crazy looking. There's no so far about it. It's... I'd like you to show me somebody who doesn't make faces when they're putting the mascara on. And, um, because it's like finding a unicorn. Okay. Is contour. And I'm going to do, like, the normal thing for contour. Which is just get the middle of the ear. Or from the, the from there. Towards the mouth. That's why you don't have to make faces or anything. I'm going to crack mm. back into my palette here and grab the red. It is really red. Make the face. Gotta make the face. I will not be putting this on my nose unless I want to look like a drunk person. I don't. I do. Let me try to blend that out a bit. Wow, that is some, uh... Stunning color going on there. Now I don't have a red toned highlighter. I don't really have a red shimmery. So I'm going to grab a regular highlighter. A little crazy with it into a brush. Spritz it. Because Wet n Wild highlighter doesn't like to show up otherwise. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now my problem is that kind of makes me look sweaty or brassy, like I'm a, either a statue or I've been running a lot, which I don't run. <laughs> we don't do that game. If somebody gonna come up and try to attack me or something, they're gonna have to meet my fists because I don't run. And Kudava, Kudava. Lipsticks. I'm gonna mix Elf with one of these Amelia Night lipsticks. This is a matte one. So I want to mix them because this one is so dark and that one is so bright. Unlike my favorite Milani lip, see, look at that. Unlike my favorite Milani lippy that's exactly like this. It's a cream one. This, that one does not go anywhere when you put it on. It stays, it doesn't even smudge off. This transfers I'm gonna try again with the ombre lip. Might not be pigmented enough though to handle it. Well, it's picking up in the camera a bit, but not in person. I look like birds. I hope you liked this video, because I sure did. I enjoyed doing this a lot. It really is fun. And I really like how this looked. I'd wear this out. I would. This is easy. This is fun. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below and make that bell ring loud and proud so you know when I post, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon central time. Bye, see you, love you, always thinking of you. Have a really great day. Don't let anyone get you down. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. And remember, do it with passion or not at all. I'm going in the hole. I'll never stop. Hey, Mom!